Hola fam, greetings. Welcome to my channel. It is time for us to get back into a few of those individual sign readings. It's been a while since I've done it. I'm in a mood, is a vibe in here. Uh, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, welcome. I'm Mags White, Buffalo Divine. Thank you for stopping by my channel. My gorgeous fellow fire signs you. Uh, welcome and happy spring solstice. Today's the first day of spring. It is also about to be Aries season. Uh, thank God, which is the beginning of the astrological year, which is a huge deal for a lot of us uh, that are in this type of practice. So we're going to throw some cards tonight. I'm not going to get super uh, in depth. I will do individual reads at the end of the video. Right now we're going to do a seven card cross spread uh, for the collective of all the fire signs. Uh, this may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, I hope to see you back again. I wish all my readings could resonate with everyone. Sometimes they just don't. So thanks for coming in. Uh, we're going to start with a prayer. First of all, cheers. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's drink of choice tonight. Okay. So there's that. Bow your heads. Let's do an organic prayer tonight. I'm not reading anything. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels for rising us up out of our beds this morning. And thank you for connecting me with the gorgeous Fire Sign Collective tonight. We are so excited to be here and we thank you for all of the blessings in our lives and all the blessings we have yet to come across. Lord, I just want to thank you for um, all of the things that are going on that are helping us to rise to our deepest and highest, truest selves. We appreciate all of the challenges you're putting in our lives, as hard as it may be. More importantly, Lord, we want to pray for everyone who is being affected right now uh, with the situation going on worldwide. Our deepest thoughts and prayers are with all of our loved ones, uh, and we are asking for peace, guidance, love, and hope as we all move through this together in union. Uh, Lord, we just want to thank you for the words that are about to come through. I ask that you use me as a vessel for the person on the other side of this video's greatest and highest good for their own personal development, ascension, and spiritual journey. And everybody said... Amen. All right, let's get down and dirty. Uh, my thought process is I've got my candles lit. Excuse me. I've got sage burning in the background. We are cleared and protected. Uh, we always ask for protection. And also I do have Archangel Michael right here with his sword of truth so that we are really going to get down to some hopefully words you're hoping to hear. I'm not sure what you're looking for, but if it resonates, it is for you. So we're going to draw one card for overall theme for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. If that ain't a fire sign card, I don't know what else is. This is the hunter. What's crazy is I saw two black stallions today uh, on the side of a truck. And I even remember thinking to myself, that's such a weird thing. And Katy Perry's dark horse popped to mind right as I passed that truck. So I am not surprised to see this card come out. That song may have relevance to you. Do you remember when that song was like a crazy workout thing? Like when you had to do a, a certain... Excuse me, I keep burping. <laughs> Diet Pepsi ain't playing. Um, kept playing like a, or doing a squat challenge or something. I don't know. So maybe there's something about your workout. Uh, I also feel like this is definitely something about power. Power coming into play. You are going to be re-energized as we move forward here. Uh, for you fire signs moving forward into the collective. Uh, you have very much been a dark horse type of energy. People are not expecting to see you take the lead in the race. And I'm feeling that hardcore right now. So um, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to split the deck. I'm going to shuffle twice. So y'all can see that I am shuffling these cards. Uh, my energy is through the roof today, thank God, because yesterday, not so much. I had to do a lot of meditation and yoga to get myself back in check. So uh, not every day can be winners, but it's a Friday, and it's the first day of spring, and we are springing forward. So how's that for cheesy? Okay. Here we go. Cutting the deck. Seven card spread. Let me move these out of the way. And I will do some clarifying after we go through. I'm just pulling straight off the top of the deck, even though you may not be able to see that. But you did see me shuffle. Okay. 
center of your reading. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Someone has a lot of anxiety going on, feeling maybe backed into a corner. People are coming at you from all angles, a lot of distrust at this time, or uh, just, I'm, I'm feeling more of like a heavy anxiety with this card. There you are, man, okay. And I am not doing reversals, by the way. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see some of this energy right now, given what's going on. So we've also got uh, the Queen of Wands. Definitely fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, Queen of Wands is a very action-oriented card. This is uh, definitely more feminine energy. I'm not saying that you are not a masculine watching this. However, right now you are really embodying this. Queen of Wands is action-oriented. She's a leader. She is focused. She has no problem speaking her mind. She takes action when necessary, and she is confident, not to mention out of all of the queens. Queen of Wands notoriously is the one who is being known for um, usually most sought after as far as looks, beauty, that type of thing. And a lot of it's just because there tends to be a little hint of vanity there. Uh, it is what it is. Sorry, no offense, but y'all know I'm keeping it real. So there's that. We've also got the Knight of Swords, which is action oriented. I love this card. More importantly, I love the staircase of the rainbow going up. Uh, this is someone who has a sort of truth in their hand. Uh, the Knight of Sword is not a king. However, it is someone who is ready for some type of communication and moving forward. This could be an incoming message. This could be something that you are ready to disclose to somebody. Uh, and I'm feeling with it being paired next to the Queen of Wands, which is interesting, it's good news. And I'm saying it's good news because while we do have the Hermit card, which, hello, a lot of us are on quarantine. Again, some of these cards coming through, I'm not surprised to see this energy. I love this card because it is so much different from the Rider weight deck normally. So in this card, the Hermit is actually walking alongside a path of woods. You yourself could be doing a lot more outdoorsy type of stuff, hiking, going for walks, out fishing, something to that magnitude. But if you notice, instead of the lantern um, more of like pointing the way, the lantern is shining on the woods. So it's almost like I get this vibe that there's been something that has been pointed out to your attention that is causing you to retreat. Obviously, we know what that could be worldwide, what the energy is right now with the current situation. But I'm feeling this is more, um, there's a celebration of some type coming in. We do also have the Three of Cups that was paired with this. So when I see these two energies together, um, my first initial reaction is that there is about to be some type of celebration, could be a possible birthday or family gathering or uh, something. I'm hearing family ties. I'm not quite sure where that's coming from, but there's something about, uh, <clears throat> overflowing like an overflowing abundance of love. And it is definitely a celebration. I'm not feeling a third party with this. That's not at all what this energy feels like to me. I say that also because we then have the Four of Swords. This card is very much about meditation. This card is about taking a time out. Uh, if you notice, there is a blackbird on top of the sword. And a lot of times that can indicate a messenger, um, uh, could, I mean, it's not a crow. It is definitely a blackbird on this card. But if you notice the man behind the, the first sword is almost looking like he's perplexed or kind of at peace with himself, but he's just taking a time out. So um, the other card that we have in the seven card spread would be the page of cups, which again is another message. Um, the Page of Cups is a message of love, usually. What I really love about this card in particular, this speaks to creativity. So um, she has, and I wish that you could see this, the cup is glowing underneath from a clear box, and in the clear box, it almost looks like there's a galaxy. So there is some type of creative endeavor that you are currently on or you're thinking of going towards or someone is bringing an opportunity for you to think outside of the box that is going to light you up from within, okay? The fact that all of these cards are very positive, yet at the center we have the Eight of Swords, is interesting because I feel like you're getting hit from all angles. We've got swords, we've got cups, and then we've got wands. 
Um, and they're all surrounding the Eight of Swords energy. This energy also, I'd like to point out, there's a blindfold. So it's almost like you feel this way, even though maybe you've been blindfolded to the truth. Again, this is a very anxious energy, and sometimes it can speak to distrust or that there are people around you who, unfortunately, you just don't feel you can open up to. Okay, so we're going to get some clarifications on this. Let's absolutely clarify the Eight of Swords. Again, don't remember, the, remember that the overall energy was the hunter, okay? The dark horse. And we've got the Hermit and the Eight of Swords, both dark cards. All of the other ones are light. So I feel that there's absolutely, absolutely heading in the right direction, good energy coming in, a very creative energy that you have manifested and that will be celebrated. So let's get some clarification on the Eight of Swords, please. That wanted to pop out. No. Communication, Ace of Air. Eye on the prize. What up, Sag? Sagittarius energy right here. We have the Archer. Also the Falcon, if you notice, with the sun behind. Sun represents Leo. Falcon represents having a bird's eye view. Eye on the prize. And what is what does this person look like they are doing? Again, this is manifestation, and this is fire all day. The upward-facing triangle is a fire sign. We also had the journey card pop out as well. So those three, clarifying eight of swords, this is good energy. You're going to be coming out of it big time. This is meant to happen. Whatever you are going through that you are feeling anxious about is meant to happen. I'd like to get a little bit of clarification on... Um, the hermit. What is the hermit about? Because we've got two meditation cards on here with the four swords and the hermit. Why are you retreating? What is that? What energy is making you retreat with this hermit energy, please? Okay. Your intuition. Duh. You're actually following it. For once, some of you, yeah, said it. There it is. Intuition. We also had what is uh, prevalent to the Hierophant. Okay, another fire energy, as well as your emotions. Not surprised to see this here at all. Light and dark. His cup is overflowing in this, by the way. Some of you are also thinking that there is a situation that is very white and black for you and it's putting you in your emotions and the, the, the vibe that I am getting is instead of listening to your intuition, you're feeling that it's a white and black cut and dry situation and that's not necessarily the case. It's about balance, give and take, equal give and take with whatever your situation is that's coming in right now because we also had like i said the two of air and then we had heavy deep emotions trusting your third eye but feeling stuck again a very emotional card okay so that's the collective let's go ahead i'm going to clear these we're going to start with aries i will time stamp how you doing aries Happy birthday. I'm sorry things are the way they are for your birthday, but hey, sometimes having a birthday indoors, away from everyone, ain't so bad. You know what I'm saying? Make your own birthday cake. I know you Aries are pretty adventurous anyway, so you can always go outside. More than likely, you will, knowing y'all. Everything budding, birds are chirping, mating Susan. All right, Aries. What are the messages for Aries? For the upcoming month, please. Judgment. Woo! Making a decision. 
Emotional Wheel of Fortune. Wow, y'all are on fire. Okay, Wheel of Fortune coming in with some type of judgment that has been made, okay? Um, juggling two different types of decisions here. If you notice, the arm is underwater. So I do feel this is an emotional decision because we've also got the King of Cups here, which represents the master of emotions. Usually the King of Cups, so I am picking up an Aries that has water in their chart of some type. Could be your moon sign or your rising sign. So could you could have moon or rising in Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Not necessarily the case. Again, this is just energy and time is fluid. But there's something about a decision that's being made. Also, I am hearing legal battle in this. Not necessarily. I'm maybe just connecting with a couple of you. But something about the wheel is turning in your favor with this judgment that's coming through. The other thing that I want to point out is this judgment card. It's almost like whatever... How do I say this? Whatever you've been going through has been suffocating you. It's like it's it's taking the air away and you've been gasping for air. 1555 on the clock, right? When I say that, 555 represents change. This is a massive change coming in for you. You feel like you've kind of been juggling everything at the same time, but we've got King Energy, which is totally not surprising giving its Aries and you guys are the Emperor. So yeah, Five of Wands has caught a lot, caught a, caused hello, talking too fast. It's caused a lot of battles, both internally and externally. Other people are involved. Um, and I, it, I, I almost want to say screaming matches. The energy I'm picking up with has had some serious screaming matches or a very loud verbal fight recently. I don't know where that's coming from. So that's your current energy and current of what's going on. What's going on with Aries in their career right now? What kind of energy do we have coming in for their career in the next month? Five of Cups and Two of Cups. More Cups. This is super emotional. Um, partnership. I want to point something out. So two of cups, if you notice, it's like they're looking up in the sky at something that is destined, right? This tends to speak to love. However, I'm asking about your career. So this represents partnership to me. But then we also have the five of cups. And if you notice, his back is turned to the two of cups back here because he's too busy looking at what's spilled here. So I feel like in your career, Aries, there's something about you're too focused on the negative right now and not looking at what you already have or something that's coming in for you. Because I do feel that this is a positive energy coming your way and it could be a new partnership or even a new opportunity. Um, and I wanna say it's something that's gonna be a creative opportunity. Something that's going to really ignite your passions. What's going on with Aries and love? Painting. I'm hearing painting. Not quite sure. I literally just got a vision of someone putting... This is going to sound so weird. I saw a vision of an easel and paint on it and someone putting globs of paint on it and then taking their hand and smearing the paint. That could mean two things in my opinion. One, creative endeavor, or two, someone is messing up with a masterpiece you have started and you feel like it's discombobulated or not what you expected. However, it's still a masterpiece. That's a really odd, I don't even know. I don't know where that just came from. Okay, let's talk about Aries and love. What's coming in for Aries and love in the next month, please? New beginning, the full, not surprised what I tell you about Aries being the beginning of the astrological zodiac. This person on the card is jumping. They are taking a leap of faith in love. <laughs> and it's towards stability. Okay. Could be connecting with a, a possible earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Knight of coin. Now, the knight of coin energy is not necessarily a king, but it is a stable offer. However, I will tell you, this is the slowest moving energy in the deck, but it's worth the wait. I want clarification on that. 
Clarify this Knight of Coins for Aries, please. What? Tell me more about this new beginning coming in in their love. Aries in love. Spring 2020. I'm hearing the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and the gardens. Oh, God, what is it? And the gardens up above and a thing called love not sure where that song's coming from i have not heard that in years death and rebirth someone from your youth where it's making you feel youthful and we had the emotions card pop out again there is something about this person who's coming in brings a new youthful fresh vibe to them and it's after either they have gone through some type of massive rebirth or you i would also like to point out and not to get graphic here, there is a snake around an egg with a baby in it. Watch out for pregnancy. If you don't want to get pregnant, this is definitely, I mean, the word birth is here. So take that as it resonates. All right, Aries. So hopefully that answered some questions or gave you some type of confirmation. Let me know in the comments if you resonated with that. Um, and check out that song. I don't even know who that's by. I have literally not heard that song in probably 15, 20 years. Do you even know what I'm talking about? The birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and the sun up above and a thing called love. It's an old school like 50s or 60s song. I don't know. That's your song. There's some type of synchronicity with that. I don't know. There you go. Next up, Leo. Hi. How are you? Let me clear my decks here. We're going to shuffle. Still in that hunter energy for Leo as well. Talk about powerful Leo all day. Okay. The kings and queens of the jungle, right? One more shuffle. What energy do we have for Leo, please? Energy for Leo spring 2020 coming up in the next month current energy holy cow Sagittarius energy temperance on the table we also had the full card pop out as well a new beginning on the way 2222 as I say that that is a master number dang and queen of wands um and queen of coins okay Leo, this could be your energy or you are also connecting with another fire sign. Um, I want to almost say you are connecting with a Sagittarius because we have Temperance and the Queen of Wands here. Not necessarily the case, but I am feeling heavy um, Sagittarius energy in this read. Sagittarius in particular is about balance um, and alchemization. If you notice in this card, he is alchemizing the water one foot in, one foot out, and the water is actually moving up into the cup. He is meditating, and that is very much about balance. Equal give and take, light and dark, yin and yang, okay? Queen of Wands, I already described that energy in the beginning. Action-oriented, very masterful, knows what they want, goes after it. Very um, direct communication, almost scary at times. Let's be real. And that could be you, Leo. You tell me. Um, and like I said, the fool in the beginning, look at the zero right after the word the fool. Okay, new beginning, taking a leap of faith. Queen of coins, this is another queen energy. We now have two queens uh, with, with your current energy. So um, something I want to talk about, the queen of coins, this is very motherly type of energy. So if you're a male and you're a Leo, you could be really um, doing healing with maybe your mother, something that happened with your mother in the past, or you're ready to embrace that energy. Stability, nurturing, loving, manifesting, and more importantly, stable. Or again, you could be connecting with someone that has earth and fire in their chart. So someone who has um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or Virgo, Taurus, uh, Capricorn in their charts, both of those signs, rising, sun, or uh, moon. Um, but that's current energy for you. That's fantastic energy, more importantly, Leo. So uh, let's look at Leo for career. What kind of energy do we have coming in for Leo in their career, please? A few shuffles. I'm hearing the song um, by Van Halen, Jump. <laughs> I don't even know. 
<laughs> David Lee Roth is creepy. Okay. I don't know where that song just came from. Leo, career. What up? Spring. Oh, okay. Ace of Swords, heavy, straightforward communication coming in. Page of Coins and Four of Wands. Wow. Okay. Um... So four of wands represents a commitment. Page of coins is an offer. Uh, it's a stable offer. It can sometimes be an immature offer or premature. Uh, but the fact that we've got ace of swords backing that communication up. So I feel like it's going to be very direct, concise. And this could be also a new job. I feel that way because with four of wands, it speaks to victory. It speaks to commitment, stability, um, action oriented. I also, if you notice here, these are four people almost like playing with lightsabers on a beach. I just saw a vision of a fair ride. I don't know how to explain this it called there's a particular ride at the fair where they've got long lights on it and it spins around and around and as it's spinning it's almost like it looks like it's going backwards when it's not the vision of that it this is going to throw you off I almost feel like this offer or this communication is really going to throw you off you're not going to see it coming um with regard to your career let's get one more hold on one more, please, for Leo and career. This is unexpected, but I feel like it's good. It's stable. Leo and career, please. No. Hold on. I just heard I got it. Yeah. Three of Cups came out. Celebration. This is a new opportunity, Leo. It's really gonna, it's gonna make you feel like you're having an out of body experience. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, yeah. Your energy's really good though, right now. You're really feeling good. You're looking good. You're stable, more importantly. Let's go. Love life, Leo, spring 2020. Too many, not taking them. Spring 2020 for Leo. Ooh, closing of a cycle. Ten of Wands, heavy burdens being dropped. Big time. That just popped out. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay. You're you're overcoming some type of really burdensome relationship, I want to say, or some type of experience in your love life that's just really put a heavy damper on you, or it's almost emotionally depleted you. Let's go more. Leo, love. Yeah, six of swords, walking away, leaving burdens behind. And I almost get this vibe like it's happening. How do I explain this? It's happening secretively you are leaving something behind and it's happening happening secretively and it almost could have to do with an aries possibly emperor is aries energy uh whatever it was it was just way too much for you to carry leo you're you're done with those types of emotions i'm gonna get a couple more Totally different energy from what your career and overall energy is currently at. I feel like you've overcome it. Whatever it is, you've dropped it. You've dropped and walked. Yeah, you're going after someone new. Someone who is a much better catch. The Empress. The Empress is above all queens. So this is someone who embodies all of the queen energies. Could be feminine, not necessarily. But the Empress is someone who is very much, I mean, look at her. She's standing on water cloaked with a hue of rainbow around her head. I don't know if you can see that or not in this card. But she's just confident. She knows what's coming in. So there you go, Leo. I feel like you're leaving something uh, behind. You're moving in the right direction. And you know exactly what you want. More importantly, there's a lot of fire and passion behind it. So there you go. Sagittarius. Hello. Your turn. Let me do a few shuffles here. 
Sag, overall current energy, spring 2020. Moving into Aries season. My fellow Saggies. It's been a, it's been a, a lot, right? At least I can tell you for most of Sagittarius as I know, they've been going through it. Um, I just saw a crane standing in water with a foot up. A crane could also represent a stork or a delivery of something. Something's being delivered to you. I don't know. Sagittarius energy. The chariot. Something's moving. You're moving forward big time, Sag. Ace of Swords. That's Hold on. Sagittarius energy, spring 2020, please. There you are, Sag. Good to see you, Queen of Wands. Hello, Seven of Swords. Why are you cutting yourself? Let's talk about this. Let's go a little, little bit in depth. So for your overall energy, Sag, this is actually really interesting. Um, because the way these are lining up, so the chariot energy, again, really to me speaks to balance. Chariot is moving forward energy. Look at the horses pulling the chariot. Do you see the correlation here? The dark horse. This is balanced white and dark horse. But it, if you notice in the card, the horse is moving really fast. It's almost like you're moving too fast and not able to keep up. Or your energy is so powerful right now that it's throwing people off. I say that because your communication is so straightforward and on point. Uh, it's not even funny. Your Ace of Swords, your communication has ex exceptional, exception, that's not a word, exceptional uh, characteristics right now. I say that because we had the Four of Swords pop out. Again, Blackbird. There's something about birds right now. Um, for me to see that crane prior, I don't know if that has any relevance, but this is meditation. This is a timeout. This is someone who's really been methodical in their thought processes. You've been making arrangements and being strategic. Sometimes the Seven of Swords can also speak to um, someone around you has been sneaky or you are being sneaky in your strategy. Why? Because you're the Queen of Wands. And that's what you do. You are the queen of manifestation. Okay, so that's actually really good energy for you. I really like that. Let's look at Sagittarius and career, please. Spring 2020. Sag career 2020. Whoa. Woo. Okay. Dang. So first thing that came out, someone is feeling really left out in their career. I don't know if you feel like you've missed the train or that something is moving on without you, but you're feeling very left out with the four of cups here. Um, and I say that because we also had the six of swords pop out for your career. So this is you're moving forward or you feel someone is moving forward without you. Uh, or there's some type of like leaving burdens behind, but it's, it's doing a, a number on your mental state. Uh, and I also see that because we had the five of cups come out. So again, it's like you, you had been in some type of energy where you were too, bu too busy looking at the spilled milk and not paying attention to what you already had. You already had everything in your ability to manifest, but you weren't paying attention. However, things have changed drastically uh, because we also had, look at all this freaking hair. Um, we also had the King of Swords pop out. This is analytics. This is direct, uh, almost emotionless communication at times paired with the Knight of Swords. Look at the colors on this. There's something about synchronicities and rainbows right now at this time. 
and creativity. This is something about a knowing. Your analytics or your, um, your solutions and your thought processes in your head, they've been in your head. You knew that you knew about them deep down, but you're now finally connecting the dots. And what it's doing is you're finally getting action to move forward with communication about your ideas. What's going to happen when you do that? Empress. Okay. Um, paired with the Ten of Cups. Overflowing. Look at the staircase. You're climbing the ladder. This could be climbing the ladder at work or climbing the ladder in some type of stature or levels or money even. Um, this is definitely tied in with emotions though. So uh, it's going to bring you this, this overwhelming joy and fulfillment. Uh, why? Because you're the empress. You know exactly what you want. The empress is, um, uh, I mean, literally the master of all femininity. So I feel like I'm heavy, heavy connecting with feminine energy at this time. Uh, but it's very interesting because it's balanced. I've literally got three females on this spread and three males, which doesn't surprise me. Sagittarius balanced as always. So there you go, Sag. I'm going to do two more cards for the collective. What you all don't see coming. And we're going to throw from a different deck. I'm going to go from my moon deck. What don't you see coming, fire signs? Moving forward. Springing forward. I like that little play on words there. What don't you see coming? There you go. What do you need to release the waning moon? Something that possibly happen, happened at uh, this last quarter during the winter and the end of a tough cycle approaches. There are good things coming your way, fire signs. You are moving forward with a lot of power and a lot of action and you're going after what you want more importantly. So congratulations, happy spring. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that provided some type of clarification for you. As always, I have so much love in my heart for all of you. I hope that you are hanging in there and staying strong. I am praying for you and sending so many good vibes and peace and um, really hoping that you are able to be the leaders that you are and helping others at this time uh, as many as you can possibly reach. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'll get you guys on the flip side. Bye.